It's my pleasure to welcome the world's first time traveler, Reese Rift. Thank you. I couldn't help noticing you're wearing a um, bathrobe. Yes, uh, when you time travel, you go naked. Something about the field generated by a living organism. But you're here now, right? You got a hang up about the naked body? No, 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 we, we just have a policy, you know, no nude interviews. We'll, we'll, we'll get you something. Seriously? Silver's not my color, I'm a summer. You know this joke still isn't funny in 2116. So, uh, tell me about the future. I can't wait to hear what's gonna happen. What happened? What do you mean, what happened? This, a long time ago? Oh, I get it, this is the past. You're confusing me. Seriously, but... Um, what do you wanna know? Everything. Okay, where should I start? Um, you know those oil change places? Oh yeah, like, uh, like Jiffy Lube. Yeah, that was a big scam. Turns out cars don't need oil changes every 3,000 miles. You're kidding. No, like once every 100,000, if that. Well, now that's the only thing that's changed in a century? Uh, Bruce Springsteen is still around. Yeah, he was the first and only human to be cloned. Nobody else deemed worthy. Interesting. Ironically, some of your futuristic movies turned out to be totally true, like uh, Soylent Green. No, you eat Soylent Green. We don't call it Soylent Green. Well, what do you call it? People. That sounds awful. Not really. After somebody dies, they're pickled and salted. Some people are quite tasty. Italians? Uh, vegetarians are good because they're low in fat. What about, uh, like, Chinese? Eh, some are sweet, some are sour. Irish? Always stewed. Does time travel have any side effects? No, absolutely not. Ah, oh, shit! Is there still a gun problem in the future? Yeah, but it's a ray gun. People love that woo 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 sound. In fact, it's illegal to go woo 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 woo. If it were 2116 now, I'd be arrested. Woo 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 woo. Let me ask you, what about uh, computers and artificial intelligence? Did they ever take over the world? Well, they try that, but the good news is they were Windows computers, so they kept crashing. Do many people time travel like yourself? Well, in about 50 years, they invent time travel. Everyone runs out and buys a time machine, and everyone pretty much does the same thing. They either prevent Lincoln's assassination, or they try to kill Hitler. They kill who? Eh, never mind. But then others brought Hitler back to the future. I mean, what could go wrong? He escapes, of course, so we had to get John Wilkes Booth to kill Hitler, and Booth didn't even know who Hitler was. John Wilkes. It, it gets complicated. Did anyone go further back in time? Well, of of course, the most traveled to destination was about four billion years ago, watching the first creature crawl out of the primordial ooze. People took selfies with the little fishy guy, but after a while, he was too scared to crawl out of the pond and people returned to the future. But there was no human race, which is a real bummer. So now there's no touching the fishy guy. Now, knowing the outcome of certain events, couldn't some people take advantage of time travel for their own personal gain? Well, that's very unlikely. Most time travelers are responsible, honest adults. Well, it looks like we're the same physically, or I mean, did we evolve in any way? Well, everyone has an e-chip in their brains. E-chip? Entertainment chip. It contains every movie and every TV show ever recorded. I can binge watch all 115 seasons of The Bachelor. Are, are you okay? Some programs cause nausea and high doses. I should have picked House of Cards. How's the economy in the future? The U.S. goes into an all-entertainment economy. What does that mean? It was really the millennials who began it. Their parents kept telling them to follow their dreams, so the entire generation went into showbiz. Seriously? 80 million kids going into showbiz at once. I mean, who can blame them? I mean, who likes to work? <laughs> That's for sure. You think you've got a lot of award shows now. Well, it looks like we're basically the same, or did we evolve? Well, people who kept checking their cell phones actually turned into cell phones. How tragic. Well, the good thing is they never miss a call. What has the internet become? Uh, the internet ceased operation around 2025. It got to the point where the entire world was controlled by a few hacker kids living in their parents' basement in New Jersey. That's the way to take action. To make the networks more secure? No, to get rid of those kids in New Jersey. Any ventures into outer space? Yeah, we colonized the moon. 
We'd hope to establish research stations there, but people found out that you weigh less. Oh, right, right. One-sixth of our weight, right? Right. So instead of people losing weight, they moved to the moon so they could eat more. Fast food restaurants open up, buffets. It looks like a giant strip mall up there. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, now my big question. Do the Chicago Cubs ever win the World Series? Seriously? What do you think? Now listen, why are you, um, why are you here, Reese? I'm on a mission. Oh, that's cool. What kind of mission? I have to kill you. Uh, me? Yep. W what is that? Well, I assembled a ray gun using elements from your time. Can I ask why you want to kill me? Well, in about three minutes, you'll meet a woman. Her name is Emily. You'll fall in love. You'll have a child together. That child will grow up to become a military leader who begins World War III. Wait, wait, wait. So, so why not just kill her? Oh, how selfless. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's, there's got to be another way. Well, there is an alternate timeline, if you so choose. You could marry her cousin and have a child. In this case, your child grows up to be a forklift operator. And he doesn't take over the world. How many forklift operators do you know who want to take over I, the world? I'm just asking. The marriage to her ugly cousin is a living hell, but at least your child is harmless. And the marriage to the beautiful woman? Oh, it's hot. I mean, really hot. She's sweet and smart and funny. But the kid? Antichrist. Hmm. That's tough. He's dead. It was some crazy guy with a ray gun. Hi. Hi. I'm Emily. I know. Um, you want to get some coffee or something? Yeah. 